It is often stated that for a large period of his Mafia career, Fat Andy Reggiano served as a captain in the Gambino crime family. However, this may well be inaccurate. Let's check it out. I'm James Gladwish and welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at whether or not Mafia heavyweight Anthony Fatandi Reggiano was actually a captain in the Gambino crime family. Much has been documented about Anthony Fat Andy Reggiano across various forms. He was inducted into the then Anastasia crime family in 1953. It is said that he served as a soldier in the crew of powerful captain Armand Tommy Rava. Family boss Albert Anastasia would be assassinated in 1957 and after Anastasia loyalist Tommy Rava was murdered, Anthony Reggiano would serve under new captain Agnello de la Croce for the first half of the 1960s. Neil de la Croce was made Carlo Gambino's underboss in the mid-1960s. After de la Croce became underboss, Michael Mike Tani Caiazzo became the captain of his former crew. Some sources state that in the early 1970s, Carmine Fatico, a respected member of Caiazzo's crew, was promoted to captain, breaking away from Caiazza and being given a crew of his own. Anthony Fatandi Reggiano would then be a soldier in Carmine Fatico's crew. By the time the books were opened for Cosa Nostra membership in 1976, Gambino soldier Anthony Fatandi Reggiano had been a made man for 23 years. He was a highly respected soldier and had a very large and strong crew of associates underneath him. Such associates under Reggiano before the books were opened included the likes of Nicholas Nicky Carrazzo and his brother Joseph Jojo Carrazzo. There is a story that states that when the books were opened, Anthony Fat Andy Reggiano was reluctant to have any of his associates inducted as he did not want any of them to be his equal. One such mobster was Nicholas Carrazzo. Fat Andy's son, Anthony Reggiano Jr., expands on this further. Yeah, so what happened was, yeah, well, what happened was when the books got open, he was debating. He didn't really want to propose anybody. His theory was he didn't want to make anybody his equal. He didn't want, because, you know, he didn't want to make anybody his equal to Tony Lee and him. But um, he loved Nicky Carrazzo. So Tony Lee told him, well, I'm going to propose Tony Pep, which was Anthony Trentacosta, because they were close. They had a, and and then, my, then my father said, well, if that's the case, the only one we should straighten out is Nicky, because that was his main guy. And then they proposed Nicky. And then what happened was Jeannie Gotti had gotten straightened out first, even before John, because John was incarcerated. So Jeannie Gotti got straightened out first, and, my, and, and Nicky did some stuff Mickey was involved in some hit. They were supposed to clip uh, Carmine La Medosa, but the, it never came off. Gambino called it off at the last minute. But they were on that hit team, Nicky and Lenny. And uh, so when Jeannie got straightened out first, my father went to Neil, uh, Neil and you know, said, like, what's going on? How could this kid go in before Nicky? And, you know, how did he go in first? And then um, they were at a wedding, actually, a, a couple of months later. And Neil told my father that Nikki's going to get straightened out next week as a ceremony, and they're going to do Lenny also as a gift to my father. So that's how Lenny, Di Maria, and Nikki both got made together at the same ceremony. And Anthony Reggiano Jr. would confirm to me that at this time in 1977, his father, Fat Andy Reggiano, was still a soldier in the crew of official captain Carmine Fratico. Some sources state that by the late 1970s and early 1980s, Fat Andy Reggiano had transferred to the crew of Gambino captain Ettore Zappi, although other sources contradict this. Anthony Fat Andy Reggiano had a strong presence in Miami. 
and due to his respect and standing, would perhaps be mistaken for being a captain for the Gambino family in Florida. As his son, Anthony Reggiano Jr. explained to me, So there's a, he was always called the captain. My father, he was an acting captain of Florida. He wasn't an official captain. In the 1980s, longtime Gambino soldier Fat Andy Reggiano would have many legal problems. In 1983, Reggiano received a one-year sentence for contempt of court after he had fled from a grand jury subpoena in 1981. As one newspaper reported, reputed crime family captain Anthony Reggiano drew a maximum one-year sentence here yesterday for contempt of court in ignoring a grand jury subpoena two years ago. Reggiano, 54, of 9416 88th Place, Ozone Park, was continued free pending an appeal which his attorney, Gerald Chargill, said he would file. The sentence was handed down by State Supreme Court Judge George F.X. McInerney after Reggiano's conviction in December. Reggiano, reportedly a captain in the Carlo Gambino organisation, was charged with fleeing to Florida when subpoenaed to appear before a Suffolk grand jury investigating loan shark activities. As can be seen in the article, Anthony Reggiano is mistakenly labelled a captain in the Gambino crime family. Reggiano's legal problems would continue in the 1980s, and after two mistrials, he would be sentenced to 40 years in prison in 1987 for a series of charges including conspiracy to bribe a police chief. As one newspaper reported, the latest of those to fall was Anthony, a self-described member of the Gambino organised crime family and the man the government says ordered Darden's bribes. Reggiano was handed a 40-year prison sentence Tuesday by a judge who noted both his criminal past and his leadership role in the Riviera Beach scheme. At one point in the four-year-old case, which included two mistrials and three trials, Reggiano entered a guilty plea. But after US District Judge Alci L. Hastings gave him a 17-year sentence, he withdrew the plea, saying the sentence was more than the plea bargain allowed. Reggiano faced a maximum 60-year sentence. He will be eligible for parole in 10 years. Anthony Fatandi Reggiano was released from prison in around 1997 and in 1998 allegedly the longtime Gambino soldier was finally made a captain as his son Anthony Reggiano Jr explained to me at the end of his life when he got out of prison they made him a captain out of respect but he was useless because he had he couldn't do anything he had you know he had a list of 200 but he was a captain at the end. But at that point in time, he wasn't an official captain, no. Yeah, so for the majority of his career, he was just a very well-respected and powerful soldier until... At that point in time, correct. At that That's point in great. time. Right. And then I, when he came to visit me when I was in prison, he said, they finally made me an official captain out of me. I said, what good is it now? <laughs> you know, he was like, he goes, well, I guess out of respect because I was straightened out in the 50s. That was in 1998. I was in I was in Elmira. I was in Elmira State Prison. That, that was the last time I saw him actually alive. Because after that, I was uh, after that. Uh, after that, I went to Attica, and then I had a federal detainer on me, and then I went to school kill, and he passed away when I got to school kill. As we can see, according to Anthony Reggiano Jr., his father was made an official captain in 1998, the year before he died. It was essentially an honorary position, as Fat Andy would have no soldiers reporting into him. Anthony Fat Andy Reggiano would pass away a year later in 1999. For further information on Fat Andy Reggiano and other fascinating mob stories, check out Anthony Reggiano Jr.'s excellent YouTube channel. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.